All right, you guys, so here I have my transparency. Hopefully you guys can see a little bit of it. And then I have my traced image on my paper. Remember, you put your transparency behind it and then you put it on a window and then you can trace it. Um, I did mine a little too dark. I would love it if you guys did yours a little bit lighter. Um, but if you didn't, not a big deal. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to grid this out. So you need to do it somewhat lighter um, when you are drawing. So you need a ruler, you need your paper <clears throat> and a pencil. And what we are going to do is we are going to make a grid and we're just gonna do one inch by one inch um, lines on here. Now, I am not a perfect paper cutter. So some of your areas, like if you see here, it doesn't go exactly to 11, which is okay, all right? Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it to the top, make sure I line it up over here, not with the end of the ruler. I mean, depending on what your ruler is, but like the end of my ruler doesn't have any measurements. So I have to make sure I line it up with where it starts. Um, and then I'm going to lightly make a little line at every inch. So where it has a big one, big two, big three, big four, and I'm going to go along those lines all the way across. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna turn my paper around, I'm not gonna flip anything. I'm gonna actually move my ruler all the way down to the bottom, okay? So move it all the way down to the bottom. Again, making sure I keep it even here, and I'm gonna go every inch and make a little line. All right, then I am gonna turn my paper this way though, and I'm gonna start back at the side. Again, lining it up where it's supposed to be. And it, your paper should be around eight and a half inches. And um, I'm actually gonna do it the other way because, and here's why I'm moving it. It's I want my half inch to be on the bottom section instead of my half inch on the top section. I want a, a little bit of a smaller one. Because it's eight and a half inches, we are gonna have this one area where it is a half inch. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. So everywhere is an inch again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, and again, I'm not moving my paper. I am just gonna push it up and line my ruler up on the bottom again. Sorry, lining things up here. It's okay to take a second and then mark where your inches are. So see how this bottom space is a little bit smaller than that? Not a big deal. All right, so here comes where we put everything together when we make our grid. You are then going to line up your ruler with your first marks here. So here's one of my marks. I need to move the ruler over on the top to line it up. Oh, I keep messing with it. You really wanna make sure it's lined up so you have straight lines here and draw a line Then move my ruler over find the other lines oops draw a line draw a line all right so what we're doing right now is we're making a grid on our paper to set ourselves up for our draw, our coloring portion. We already drew it, but this is gonna be for our coloring portion now. So don't press too hard with your pencil. This pencil is naturally dark, I feel like, because I'm not pressing very hard and it's giving me darker lines. And then I'm gonna move my paper, which I know you can't see the whole thing, but I'm gonna line up my lines again. So lining up at the top and the bottom, moving my ruler over to make my grid. Pressing very lightly with my pencil. If you have a hard time pressing lightly, one trick, and that's what I'm doing now, is to hold my pencil really far back. So don't hold it close to the tip. 
there's any a time where you are having a hard time not drawing dark, because I think sometimes we run into that where we draw too dark and we can't figure out why, moving your hand back on your pencil away from the tip of it is a huge way to make sure it gets a little bit lighter for you. And like I said, some pencils are naturally darker like this one. I'm hardly pressing and it's dark. So now I have my grid. So I have my grid on my face and now I'm ready to start the coloring portion.